Hey everyone, so we're at Scythe's office now at Comedy Tech 2024. I just had a huge meeting with Kitagawa-san, whom we showed last year, uh, engineer and founder at Scythe. They have a ton of interesting products when you talk about. So uh, some of the stuff we got some unique access to is these prototypes of fans. We've got a little bit of information to share on these. Very interesting approach where they're shaving down this section of the fan to specifically improve performance. We'll have to test it in our own lab, but I'm told that it's supposed to be a pretty massive increase to performance for the lower profile downdraft coolers. Uh, other stuff that they're showing this year with launches soon is a FUMA 3 Revision B. So the FUMA 3's already been out. There's a new version of this where they've got a couple changes like right here. Uh, there's some changes to the mounting solution as well that I'll go over. And the goal for Scythe right now appears to be trying to uh, up the performance while competing more specifically on price. Because as you all know, uh, the cooler market's gotten really crazy lately. The Shuriken 3, this is a really small downdraft cooler. They've shrunken the height from the Shuriken 2 previously. So that's a big change. And then there's a prototype. So this is kind of the big one. This is called the Magaroku. Uh, which, as I understand it, is maybe a, a sword or a knife smith or something. Someone familiar with Japanese culture and history can post down below. But uh, this is going to be a new cooler from Scythe. And actually, it is inspired by the Scythe Fuma 1 for some very specific engineering reasons. Before that, this video is brought to you by Squarespace. And visiting squarespace.com slash gamersnexus will give you 10% off your first purchase with them. We've built a number of our own websites with Squarespace, where we list catastrophic PC hardware failures to inform subscribers of those failures. We also built our store website with Squarespace using its built-in e-commerce tools. And of course, we built a website for our CEO, Snowflake, because she demanded our audience know who really runs the show. Get to the core of your idea and spend less time on web design by signing up at squarespace.com slash gamersnexus or click the link below. We'll start with the FUMA 3 Revision B. The price is supposed to be the same as the FUMA 3 series. The Revision B really is meant to just improve on this. This is actually uh, the older solution. And what Scythe has changed is the amount of pressure that is applied by this part of the cooler specifically. So this is part of the mounting solution where the new one is supposed to increase the pressure slightly. So if you look at our footage of it, you'll see they've added a nut that the screw goes through that helps to not only apply more pressure, but to apply it in a sort of pinpointed way. And uh, especially with Arrow Lake coming out sometime, maybe by end of year, I don't know, we don't have a date yet, but with that coming out, that's gonna shift the hot spot. Uh, apparently Intel can take more pressure with the new one, haven't confirmed that, that's the rumor. And so they're trying to kind of adjust on the fly for that, but also, uh, the increase in pressure should solve some of the FUMA 3 performance limitations that we saw previously, where in some of our testing, depending on which CPU IHS we were on, it was, uh, it, it just needed more pressure. So for the FUMA 3, as quickly as possible, the revision B has increased tension on the crossbar that goes across the top of the cold plate. That's supposed to improve the performance. Uh, as you've seen in our cold plate testing video, the pressure and the contact to the IHS is really critical where you can get a couple degree difference by increasing the pressure in the specific key areas where it needs to be the highest. Scythe thinks they're uh, gonna see around a two to three degree improvement on the revision B of the FUMA 3. Additionally, one of the other changes they did was right here and specifically this was to get it to fit better in many ITX cases. So this, uh, this Cooler Master case over here, you can see that they've managed to find basically the exact use case for it where shaving down that back end allows it to fit under the chassis frame and the side panel can still close. So those are kind of the changes for the FUMA 3, basically just uh, more revisional improvements. It's something Scythe does a lot. Let's move on to the, we'll come back to the prototype, the Magaroku. Let's do the Shuriken 3 really quickly. So this one is much smaller, it's 39 millimeter tall cooler. It's down from 58 millimeters on the Shuriken 2. And what they've done is basically, uh, move this, they've integrated the cold plate into the fin stack. So there's less surface area, it's shorter. So performance wise, it will be technically worse than the Shuriken 2, but that's intentional uh, because they're just trying to get something that can fit in an even lower profile scenario. And so Scythe specifically is targeting Noctua for competition for its low profile coolers. Noctua is one of the 
more prolific brands in that space. And the Shuriken 3 also has this change in the fan. So this is kind of the key to Scythe's competition from what they're telling us here. Again, we'll have to test all this in the lab. Uh, but you'll notice this cutout in the fan. And Scythe, actually, we'll move over here to the prototypes, has all these different variations where they've cut, say, uh, four millimeters, five millimeters, six millimeters, and they're all varying heights that are cut out from the fans. Now, the reasoning for that, this is my interpretation uh, without a ton of data in front of me, but um, from what I understand, speaking with Scythe, it sounds like it is a couple things. One is that getting that plastic out of the way allows the air to hit more of the fin, so you've got more surface area contact with the air itself. And then one of the other reasons is to reduce the sort of back pressure on the fan. So you get less reflection of the wind from the plastics of the fan. It allows the air to escape out the sides, so although not all of it will hit the fin stack, reducing the, the uh, reflection and bounce back into the fan will reduce the resistance the fan faces, and it should improve the performance. Really cool. This is a, a super unique opportunity for us. We were very fortunate that they brought out the prototypes and allowed us to film them. Uh, and they even showed us one of the original prototypes. We've got footage of, of a larger version of this fan where all they did was just cut holes in it with basically a saw. So that's kind of what Scythe's trying to do right now. They're playing around with the fan design to compete with Noctua uh, while also bringing down the form factor. Some other notes for the Shuriken 3. So it's gonna be $40, it's a July launch and the manufacturing process is actually different. So they're locking the fins and they're soldering now rather than press fit. The old design is a press fit solution, soldering the uh, heat pipes with the actual cooling solution, like the fins will improve the thermal conductivity, the transfer and the efficiency. So that should help their performance as well. And then it also has a larger cold plate on the Shuriken 3, which is just for a more modern uh, CPU. The fan is different as well. So it's using a Kaziflex 92AH and the big difference is that uh, four holes for the relief. And then finally, the mounting kit is different. Now the big one is really this, which is the Magaroku. This is a prototype. They're not ready to launch it yet, but we do have some information on it. And the first thing you'll notice against say the Fuma 3 is that the heat pipes are much straighter. And uh, this is what Scythe says is key. We've actually asked them to provide us a special sample. Hopefully they can make it with doing exactly the same everything, except bend the heat pipes on one and not the other, but maintain the same heat pipe length. The reasoning for that educational exercise, the academic test, is to just theoretically show what the difference is. So Scythe claims a 6% thermal conductivity change by straightening the pipes versus going with more of a curvature. You use the curvature for better clearance, but straightening it improves performance. So the Magaroku will use two 120 millimeter fans that are 25 millimeters thick. This should be a higher performance than what you see on the Fuma series. They're Wonder Tornado fans. Uh, the prototype is TBD for release, but they're targeting end of year. It's gonna be under $40, it's supposed to be very price competitive in the cooler market. And then for the heat pipes, they're going for six to seven, but it's to be determined which they use. The height is 154 millimeters. So that's the same as the, the Fuma 3 from the top of my mind. And then the uh, mounting is the same as the Fuma as well, but they're still waiting on some information on Intel Aero Lake to finish the design. The last one they're doing is the Big Shuriken 4. So it's a prototype. There is no price yet. We don't have a release date yet. Uh, it's taller to reduce the mechanical conflict with the board. And then it has one more heat pipe. So it's at six from five on its predecessor, the Big Shuriken 3. They say it has better bonding for the heat pipes. So this is another uh, maybe discussion about press fit versus soldering. And it also has four holes in the side of the fan for the same reasons we described with the other Shuriken. And then it also has a new larger cold plate like we saw with its smaller variant. So pretty interesting stuff from Scythe. Uh, that really covers most of it. Otherwise they have some color variations on things. They've introduced white and uh, black for coolers where they might've only had kind of the raw aluminum look before. They have three packs of fans now, nothing too crazy with that. We've covered the big things. The prototypes are definitely the coolest aspect of any of this. It's exactly why we come here. We had over an hour of time discussion on really in-depth engineering topics. So I'm excited to bring some content to you all, similar to what we did with the Coldplay engineering video just a couple weeks ago. That was done with uh, Scythe manufacturing some cold plates for a question we had. So check that out if you haven't seen it. But uh, that'll wrap it up for this one. A lot of cool stuff at Computex. There's gonna be multiple videos per day. We're going for the shorter video higher volume approach to get all the news out there to you with as much depth as we can and a lot of these behind the scenes engineering discussions 
to fuel what we're producing. So check it out and subscribe to catch all of that. Check back regularly in case YouTube doesn't send them all to you. And we'll see you all next time.